Have you ever felt like you didn't know who you are anymore? You feel like a shell of yourself. You look the same on the outside, but on the inside, you feel lost. Well, that's been the last few months for me. Moments of shifting, loss, shock. It, it left me feeling incomplete. So I tried working harder. I tried doing more. I tried doing anything that felt like it could help me regain my identity. But I still reached rock bottom. And as I looked up from there, Jesus finally had space to reveal that this was a long time coming. It didn't happen overnight, and it wasn't an accident. I had made choices that had put me in the spot. It reflects what the church in Ephesus was facing in Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 and 5, which reads, But I, that is Jesus, I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. Look how far you've fallen. Turn back to me and do the works you did at first. If you don't repent, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place among the churches. Now, if you read verses 2 and 3, the church in Ephesus was being praised at verse, which is a reminder that being lost doesn't mean you're doing everything wrong. The Bible tells of how integral the church in Ephesus was to Christianity, but even they were missing the mark where it counted, their lack of love for Jesus and each other. It affected their choices and was ultimately a reflection of the church. Hard work or endurance alone didn't matter, and because of this, they were becoming lost and at risk of not even existing anymore. As I learned this passage, I realized that I had been missing the mark because that hasn't changed over time. We are called to love Jesus and each other, and I hadn't truly loved Jesus in a long time, and it showed. When we lack love, our choices feel like a journey taking us further and further away from Jesus. But Jesus didn't say, journey back to me. No, he said, turn back to me. He's right there waiting for you to turn around. And when you do, and Jesus is in front of you, then we can reflect our Lord and Savior and feel whole. We were designed to look to Jesus because you can only reflect what you're facing. And in our reflection of Jesus, well, he, that is God, is love. So then we are able to love. And that's the key, because we cannot truly love without loving Jesus. He has to be our first love. That's why the order in the scripture is to love Jesus first, then each other. So in those times that you feel lost or incomplete, reflect on your reflection. Why don't you join me in prayer? Lord Jesus, we are so thankful that you showed us how to love first by paying the price on the cross that when we try to do things in our own power or our own strength, when we try to love without loving you, we find ourselves hitting rock bottom or getting close to it. And we are so thankful that you make room, that you come after us, that you still make a way to reveal who you are to us, that we would always be lost without you, but we are so thankful that you're right there when we turn around. So we love you, we thank you, and it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Be blessed.